Welcome everyone! We are the Grin Brothers and we're continuing our playthrough of Pokemon Sword. I I'm had sure we get cutscenes around here. In the previous episode where I had uh, drunk some tea, I actually tried our new tea, yeah, tea yeah, I had, yeah. Ginseng Matcha Green. Alright, Eli, it's time for another cutscene. You went almost a whole minute without one. You and I both know I've got to keep on trying different strategies or I'm going to get strong enough to catch up to Lee. No, not just catch up. If I want to surpass him, I'll stop by being more of a douche than him. Eli, I'm going to win and make you make me a sandwich, which I'll pay you for. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay you for your actions and give you a tip to make sure you actually earn enough to survive. And recognize that you do something other than making sandwiches. Oh, darn, this is really hard being a douche. Why did you get Just Trevenant? Just focus on your cutscenes, Hop. That's your douchiest thing yet. What's wrong with cutscenes? Everyone loves them. Alright, time for me to test exactly how far I can go with my latest and greatest team. <laughs> Trevenant's so small looking. Like, why? It's weird because it's a tree. We, we, and, and generally, trees are big. To be fair, it's a tree built out of a dead child. Same, it's a park grass with, you know, five different weaknesses. Well, you know super effective moves! That me reminds me of Lee! Please don't you ever compare me to your brother ever again. I think most people know super effective moves, Hop. Huh? I will hit you, Hop. <laughs> oh, oh, that's the sort of thing that reminds me of Lee! Hey. <laughs> God damn, he's smart enough to actually send out something that's super effective. Kill my Pokemon! Yes, I'm a Pokemon. C Cinderace! Cinderace! Oh, wait, hold on. Cinderace comes out with, like, equipped with guns. <laughs> bang, bang! <laughs> nah, it's a footballer. They'll just. Well, the other thing, the Digimon thing, would be just with breasts, but. Have a taste of our true power! I d a flames are burning oh, bright! Thank god we switched, because Pyro <laughs> Ball is a monster move. What? But I used a super effective move! Kind of, halfway there! Yeah. Um, are we going to be faster? Probably not. Might as well bite. Is there anything that's going to do damage? I don't think he's got anything that's effective against us. Oh no, Oh no, he's got acrobatics, so it's definitely effective. Yep. How would you like that? I also know super effective moves! Uh, and he doesn't have a hell item either. So, yeah, we're using Rocky Helmet to take this thing down now. That's not going to take it down. No, it's not. Well, he's going to use Acrobatics. Do we have anything that will resist it? <laughs> um, no, no, we've got nothing to resist flying. No, we do not. I guess we could just send Jesse out. It's the security stretch for everything. Is Pyro Ball physical or special? Pyro Ball is physical, but it's like 120 power. Jesse can take that. I don't... I think our best bet is to probably just take the hit. Mm. Probably should have sent out Bondulance, honestly. I thought that, but I thought, oh hey, Flash Fire. And yeah. I was thinking like natural move for it, like lands double kick and stuff. So he's taught acrobatics. I don't think it lands. It wouldn't make sense for it to learn acrobatics naturally. Sorry, Harry. One day you'll do something, just like Hat. Like, neither of our physical attackers really get to do anything. Mm. Um, I'm going to be a fair aside from Jesse, how many Pokemon on my team get to do anything? Nanka's had a surprising amount of time in the spotlight. Alright, just shoot her. Pull out the gun. <laughs> Bang. Wow, right then, through the head! Literally yeah. executed. No! My Pokemon! Why?! <laughs> Don't worry, it was just water. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh no, the water seeped to the brain! <laughs> <laughs> now you're gonna be like me, having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you, you Pokemon won. Why is he frothing in the mouth on the ground? Uh, Bolton. Again, I love that theory that originally the the uh, theory of Leon having a team of um, early Ow. game Pokemon. Like, that would have been so cool. Time. Why would you be like? I need to switch up my team to be stronger. This doesn't have the much of a special defense, so Hat's probably the bear bet. I mean, not a special not... attacker. Oh yeah. I just want to see if Hat can do something. I was expecting him to get paralyzed there, honestly. Same.
Well, he is faster, so yeah. Bolton does have a speed a stat. Peak. Consider the possibility your opponent might land a critical hit on your Pokemon, mate! Why are you saying that as if I'm losing I... to you? Well, we lost a Pokemon. He's doing far better than he usually does. That's You've true. actually had to think. I mean, mostly it's because of that, you know, Much it's Cinderace. Yeah, but... Pyro Ball. Once again, Cinderace. Proves... I could win! Hop wins. Rewind time. No, why? Once again, uh, Cinderace is the most broken of the Galar mm. stars. What do you mean? We don't have any biases. Yet someone was saying that in terms of Pokemon with buffs needed sort of thing, but... You know, man, Game Freak really mistreat Charizard. Like, I think he's the least liked star of them all. Purely because, you know, he's fire flying with four times weakness to rock. That was their entire argument to why the Game Freak hates Charizard. Because I... it's not good enough comparatively. This was another comment, isn't it? I'm gonna try a bulk up and then go for brick rates. Oh, I'm faster. That's good. Acrobatics! <laughs> Slam. Oh, well, that can't not be even paralyzed. The, yeah, not even, oh, yeah, Limber. Yeah. Yeah, not even with the body, with the feet. Limber is such a bad ability, I consistently forget that it exists. I, I can't be bothered to just sit here and use Bulk Up. Well, we couldn't see the Newt Newt. Guess we don't need to. How did I? That finally gets to do something, and it's actually owning Hop. Which is nothing new. Once on reversal! Uh, no. Nah, yeah, Brook Break seems to be better. Pretty sure we have to TM for reversal anyway. Yeah, we considered that before, but we only went with Brook Break. TM. Yeah. I'm the kind of guy who gets fired up to win in these situations. When have you won? Well. Why do you have two fire types? This team was full of if I had a different starter! Well, why would you do that? I don't know! I just like speculating on theories, like. What if I won all these matches? <laughs> also, I like how we're using Dig on a bridge. I like to imagine like hot <laughs> yeah, Dig's bridge. throwing hats up and it just sucks like a... <laughs> I like that they at least programmed a bridge. <laughs> they had to program something. Yep. It's the small things that count. Harry's going to be completely useless for the next two games, isn't he? Rock and yeah, no dark. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. Harry's gonna be gym amazing for the them. next instead of the other gym. This is rubbish. My team can't perform if I can't hit my own edge straight as a trainer. You did amazing there, Hop. I did terribly. Time to abandon these Pokemon and go back to my sure to win. Off a bridge. Yeah. I'm gonna go back to the team that always wins. You've not won once that other team. This is actually the best you did. Um, I remember watching Lee on telly. I said, who's that? That's your brother. Who? <laughs> I have a brother? <laughs> and he's like, he basically raised you. And it's like, he did, I guess. <laughs> he's like your father. Yeah, he went cruel. out to get cigarettes and then never came back. He wasn't going to be talking to them. He was locked outside watching <laughs> TV through the window. <laughs> Probably wasn't even his own house he was watching the TV from. That guy? Yeah, he's my brother. It was a very accurate guess, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> I guessed it, because we have the same color hair. Which, you know, is usually a good indication. Uh, I'm getting stronger, too. Maybe not as fast as you, but fine, whatever. I mean, he's not wrong. Yeah, also, thank it's you just that, you know. Way. It's amazing, I approach you, yeah, I'm still two meters apart. <laughs> Got a, you know. It's such an easy thing to do. You'd think others would be able to manage it, but no. Almost as easy as wearing a mask. <laughs> my main Zelda, you and me are going to have another battle once I get my gym badge in Sir Chester. Okay. Well, uh, that's not surprising at all. You keep constantly challenging me. Can someone else fight me? Please! I have two other rivals. Why is Feeble on this route? I want to be loved! <laughs> who's going to be, like, who's going to encounter a Feeble at this point and be like, Oh, damn, it's Feeble. What am I going to do now? So I, oh, no. I still find it funny in Joe, like, Sentry can be caught on, like, a route, yeah. and then just disappears, and then it's just Rattars. Every single route oh, in Joe has Rattars. I don't think I can get past it. change up who's in front. Yeah, it's, uh, Harry. Yeah, okay, so is this Galvantulas on this route? Yeah. How terrifying that would be. Also, which Pokemon? There's a Pokemon along this route which will, like, chase you down, and there's no way to... Berserker. Run yeah. You can see it over there. Pokemon Mail is the same. Anytime, anywhere. I didn't read anything he said. 
because I don't really You are challenged by Cabby Bruce. Shouldn't you be doing your job? There's nothing worried about being violently assaulted by a taxi driver, is there? Uh... Fire? Oh, wait, no, it's not steel yet. It's just mono flying. Uh, it still might work well enough. I mean, you saw what acrobatics did. Oh, screw it. Oh, gosh, it's faster? Gosh. Yeah. Why do I keep getting the impression that Harry's supposed to be fast? I think Harry's probably done more damage with Rocky Helmet than anything, because he just gets beaten up a surprising amount. No, I'm oh, done. God. Just off. Oh, uh, okay. Thanks. I mean, you would have died anyway, but... I feel pity for the Pokemon! But yeah, nothing worried about when, you know, uh, Cabby Driver decides to uh, violently attack people. you. You know, there's no cases of sale carriers like that at all. Nope, never. <laughs> <laughs> I remember seeing a joke. Uh, you do realize you're sending a baby out to battle, right? There's a joke. It's just a baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> uh, it's like picking up a hitchhiker and they're uh, like, How do you know I'm not a serial killer? And the driver says, The chance of there being two serial killers in the same car is highly unlikely. <laughs> the thing is, the other taxi driver thing I could mention. Uh, isn't appropriate because it's like uh, because it's yeah. your conversation you have your, your friend had. Mm. <laughs> yeah. No matter where I go in my taxi, loss and loneliness seems to follow. It shouldn't in fear there should be people in the taxi. Maybe you should get a different job. Uh, I hope you had fun, <laughs> Harry. I think Steve has also had a lot of time in the spotlight. I think it's just because he's the last level. I so guess we don't getting... eat berries. Well, he's that just... was a lengthy route there. Yeah. Mm. He's just getting put in the front a bunch. I must admit, this is one of the best routes in the game because it actually is... Feels horrifically out of place, though. Yeah, this actually feels like a proper route. Like, it feels ah. like... Oh, gosh, rough are fast. I can't float the final step! Oh, my God, it's... Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, rough it now! Why does Baldor have... I know it's like a leg, but like it looks like a weird tail lump. Pretty sure that it, you know it's like a shovel tail. Mm, who knows? Um, our next cap is forty-two. Oh god! Aggressive hedgehog. Oh yeah, took it does it attack us? No. Man, Togedemaru had it rough. Sucks. I'm the new Pikachu. Yeah, Togedemaru. About that. Oh yeah, this is a dead end. Why is it We're going to teach you about Pokemon Dens in a place where there's no Pokemon Dens. And it's in a random out the way spot. Oh, just let me pass, douchebags. Mm, Setsy, something to talk about. Yes, I have to fight this scientist. Well, it's I guess on the consistent comment on, well, well, on videos I've been watching as of late. What's so exciting about this wall? <laughs> I shall now closely examine the health of your Pokemon. I'm sure it's going to be more interesting than this wall. By beating you up. Well, why are you watching this wall? Why is the doctor not, I don't know, treating patients? People are dying, woman. <clears throat> There's a pandemic. Do your job. Oh, God, what is the health of your Pokemon? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's a perfectly normal fossil. I'm a level 36 trainer. Okay, I believe that poison thing worked out pretty well there. <laughs> what did you just do to my Pokemon? Avalanche. That did not look like Avalanche. <laughs> Sploosh. <laughs> um, so a few videos I've been watching as of late. Um, well, the most recent one that I've been watching is, I think the YouTuber's name is Papasia. Okay. tuber sort of thing. And I found out about him from a video he did, which was um, playing Pokemon... I think it was Fire Red via uh, how Nintendo wants you to, okay. which is he got he got a Pokemon guide which says approved by Nintendo, okay. and he followed it step by step. Okay. So like there's like certain things he missed out entirely because the guide never mentioned getting Flash wow. during the actual playthrough. Amazing. Like he'd mention it later on, but not on the point he'd get to you know reading it naturally. Yeah. Like he'd also mention like some of the things he'd mention you know catching specific Pokemon, so he'd catch one or you know like, star stuff. He was like. He said she had a funny joke. It's like, 
Now, the st a star just, now it just says to choose whichever star is your favourite, but I really want it to one day, one of the games to just say, a guide to just say, th choose this star, it's just the best star, go this one. Which is funny, because I remember my uh, Pokemon guide I had from the Nintendo Official Magazine. Mm. It actually said for the starters, basically it has had a difficulty ranking for the stars, which is like, easy mode, Bulbasaur, normal mode, Squirtle, hard mode, Charmander. Yeah, it's not wrong. Um, Hardcore mode is Chikorita. Because it's good against... And so, like, he, he, like it... One thing that... It, it was both very entertaining watching him go through the guide, but there was a disappointing factor into it that because he followed it specifically to when he, you know, like, say, you know, Pokemon and Catch sort of thing, he'd often only have a very small team by the end. And also, my, sort of, one of my favourite things about watching a lot of these Pokemon videos is seeing what teams people form. Yeah, but it's still also quite interesting, like, having a small team of very specific Pokemon... It was like because the, the starter, Pidgeot, I mean, a couple of those early game Pokemon, and that was it. I think one of them was just used as a HM slave. Yeah, I never said it would be like a good team mm. or an interesting team, but it's interesting to see what you come out with because of the guide. Mm. But it also meant that, you know, the battles, you're just seeing the same Pokemon over and over again, sort yeah. of fighting sort of thing. I mean, to be fair, that's how we literally play games, isn't it? I choose a team of six. Yeah. Um, and look how much we've used our team of six. <laughs> <laughs> I would say in theory they get the chance to shine in the gym battles, but no, not really. The boulder will take a few days to reach you. I don't think you have to worry about sort of stealthily grabbing that. Oh no, I just couldn't be bothered to run in case it spawned a... Um... Mm. Uh, poor cauliflower head girder. Oh, the sparkly thingy. Over there on the other side. Oh. Hey, buddy, you're in the way. I always wanted to try using a phalanx. Everyone was expecting him to be fighting bug. Phalanx pure bug is okay. Oh, well, God damn it! Like, what were they thinking about this Pokemon? They were supposed to be construction worker, and then they went clown with you know head tumors. Um. And also the fact that it's got like exposed muscles and veins. Hmm. It's not healthy. Uh, to be fair, its face is naturally scary. Yeah. Concordera isn't exactly that much better. Mm. Also, arguably, Gerda is more helpful because, like, you know, you can actually use that iron beam. Two random concrete pillars. <laughs> like, what are you meant to do with that? But yeah, like, because I actually considered doing, uh, you know, something similar using the Pokemon Diamond Guide I got, you know, because I've been using that to go through Dear Diamond Diary story. Yeah. But I've been kind of, you know, was wondering if to do something similar, but it would probably be based off of, like, more so off Pokemon they meant, you know, like, they have screenshots showing the Pokemon oh God. that the person who did the guide actually uses from time to time. Yeah. So you actually know some of the Pokemon that they did end up catching. And there'll be some times where they mention specific key things of a Pokemon, such as... Um, how they mentioned about um, Bonsai and Mime Jr. being version exclusives, which seems to hint that they wanted Damn. to have it, sort of thing. Yeah. You know, so that way there'd be more Pokemon on the team and, you know, more sort of like, so that I'd have choices for Gym Battle, sort of thing, which might ruin the challenge, but at the same time, it also makes it more interesting in that case. Why does she have a Dreepy? Well, it's like the least, least worrisome battle we can have. I've seen Dreepy's stats. Yeah, but you can't get them at this point. Yeah. It's also interesting, like, I didn't think Dreepy was... I didn't know Dreepy was a thing until this battle. And then it's like, where the heck do you find those? And it's like... It's funny that they put both the Galar... You know, two of the three Galar dragons all at the end. Mm. In, a off, in a place that you don't really go to. Well, you can get it once you can water cycle, so it's after the seventh gym. Mm. It's still really It's still out of the way to get to it. Yeah, you have to backtrack for it. Even the other dragon. Well, the, 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 the bicycle being able to surf is the only backtracking moment you really have. There's yeah. no other reason to backtrack ever. It's not even like but it doesn't even feel very need. natural backtracking. No, because there's nothing you need to go back for. Mm, but there's no key character moment or anything. Like, you'd only go back if you knew you had to go back. Mm. Okay. I do love... That is my favourite of the designs from the trainers in this game. The backpack. Backpackers, yeah. Really? Kind of a shame no, no um, trainers design really took off in the fandom this uh, time. 
Because yeah. at least even Sony, whilst well, not to the degree of Hex Maniac, the Psych Seer was decently popular. Yeah. And I remember the, I think it was the Ace Trainer game, or was it the Ace Trainer or Birdcatcher getting a fair bit of love, but mostly because they just kind of looked like a Rooker. Oh, yeah. Oh, the uh, Grass Gym. Oh, yeah. Was popular for like two days. Mm. Summoning Tantrum sounds more like a Z move than actual, you know, attack. Stopping tantrums, weird. Because mm. on paper it sounds really good till you realise it's got very specific rules. Because it's 75 power, does double damage if your previous move didn't work. Mm. But what it means by that is the move has to have the exact wording of the move failed. So you have to do something like you snore whilst you're awake. And uh, now I'm going to try my wild apple and cinnamon tea. So sounds fancy. Do you want to smell of it first? It smells nice. Mm. Live concert's open to all, and you'll be attending. I'm sure you'll get lots of people sound like that. He punches us in the face, <laughs> knocks us out, and drags us away. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! That... Sweet. It's sweet, and then, like, I was wondering where the spice was, and now my throat feels like it's burning. Yeah, that'll be the cinnamon. Mm. Harry has been out a sweet introduction like with a, a sweet introduction with a burning oh throat. Oh god, are you kidding me? What? We flinched. Can you survive a hit? I don't think you will. Done. But hey, Rocky Helmet! Oh, Harry. Uh -huh. And ended after a poisonous centipede, and he has no poison. Well, he was like level 40 there, wasn't he? So I guess it'd be next would be Jesse's turn. Yeah. To be fair, we haven't sent Jesse once, and you know, Dig is four times super effective here. Yeah. Yahai! <laughs> Jesse is a good girl. The Battle of Serial Mascots. I could see Tugan and Mario being a serial mascot as well. Yeah. And gets his thunder stolen by Mimikyu. Center score. What is your speed meant to be? You know, 65, so yeah, it's speed's kind of garbage. Mm. 65 defense as well. Got good health. It's just his physical defense that's lacking. It can take special moves. Uh, let's see, another um, sort of set of videos I've been watching. To learn bullet seed. have been watching a lot of videos by. Mm. We have no grass moves. We do not. Well, we got rid of Magical Leaf Fun. Yeah. Well, what's the other move? We've got Dig and... Well, we've got Dig already on uh, Hat, so... Yeah. And let's see. We need... I mean, it... It won't work against Steel, but it'll work against Rock. Both of them will be good against the Rock. Give some coverage against Water, which I don't think our team... Well, we've got a Thunder Shock, but that's actually great on a Mago Steve. No. So it'll be a while. And we can reteach it anyway if need be. So yeah, get rid of uh, Dig for Bullet Steve, and that'll be good for the next gym anyway. 100 accuracy. Yeah. So it's guaranteed at least base 50 power. With two chances to crit. Um, also watched quite a few videos by His Triple eyes Jump. Terrifying. Because <laughs> um, Triple Jump's been doing this cool thing where like he covers all the launch games. Never noticed that crystal up top before. Uh, where he like covers all the launch games for the various systems. Um, so he's like covered like the launch games for the PSP, launch games for the 360. I actually did a, it was actually pretty cool, we actually did cover the Xbox Series X and PS4 launches. Um, I think he had a couple friends help him out with that, so that he could actually get them out quicker. Yeah. Um, and they only plays like a few hours of it, sort of thing. Because obviously there's not enough time to really oh, complete them extensively. Um, but um, okay, no another, sir, another interesting video he did, um, he actually did a video which was... Um, ranking all of the um based off like a combination of like rotten tomatoes and a couple other sites he did um the results the ranking of all video game related movies oh um most of them were like below 50 percent in the ratings so none of these are particularly good options i just i don't even want to fight this cross till i just need to get past it what, for an item yeah, there's a TM this way. Ah, uh, Crystal was great. Honestly, Gen 5 is so good for bug types. Oh, yeah. 
And uh, I, had a, I had actually a, um, it was actually the first time that I actually uh, purposely went with two Pokemon the same sort of type because oh, Tepic right. was absolutely useless. Yeah. So uh, I got rid of it, uh, dumped it, and then I went and got Lavesta. So, <gasps> so I guess we'll never go over there because I'm pretty sure we're next to 40, level 42 by now, aren't we? Um, Harry, 340s and then 341s. Mm. Oh yeah, like oh yeah, this is also Council's route, which is mean I really think they should just name it a different route. Like what? Were they that worried about having more than ten routes in this game? Maybe. I I'm freezing! Ah! Please leave me alone, Sork. Oh, I don't know how I dodged him. Woo! <laughs> Baby Dar like. Aramaka, when it's all baby, looks like a football, and I kind of want to drop kick you. There's been a lot of drop kicking in this recording session as well. Mm. Baby. <laughs> well, it's 25 minutes in, so we'll be ending this episode. Oh. Okay. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> wow, you're sorry, you're very dead today. Uh, I've just gotten tired all of a sudden. But this is the latest you've ever recorded. Yeah. Actually, Fallout 4 aside. Yeah. Okay. Cheers, everyone! Bye! Uh, like, comment, and subscribe! Oh, you said that. Did you? Yes. Okay. <laughs>